physics has a wonderful definition of energy, which is the ability to do work. And we all know what it feels like to not have any energy and not feel like doing anything. There's no mystery. These are the ordinary energies that we sense all the time with our senses. Heat, light, sound, vibration, smell, gravity. These are all the energies that we use all the time to sense where we are in the world. So there are two laws of physics. If you can explain these laws of physics, you will understand many things about what you sense. Ampere's law, this was an, an accident that happened at a lecture in Copenhagen in, in the physics department in 1820. Um, one of the most important discoveries in the history of science. Hans Christian Ørsted had some <coughs> compass needles, compasses, wires, and batteries on his table. <coughs> and he discovered that when he passed a current through a wire, the compass needles moved. Electricity flowing through a wire can give rise to a magnetic field. And this is now a basic law of physics called Ampere's Law. Do not violate the laws of physics. You will, you will be arrested <laughs> by the physics police. <laughs> Magnetism can be converted to electricity. And this means that in a magnetic field, for example, the magnetic field coming from my hand, my magnetic field can induce the current flow through a wire or through a cliff. <laughs> Faraday's experiment of moving a magnet through a coil of wire and detecting electricity. So these two laws of physics show that we can go from the physics laboratory to the human body and understand a lot of the things that are going on.